Hey YouTube, it's Mike here and I'm bringing you guys a, maybe a new series to the channel. Since I have zero series to this channel, I figured that what we could do is that every Monday, uh, every Monday, sorry, every Tuesday, we have a new Marquis matchup that comes out. So I could basically show you guys a video in the background of me completing the Marquis matchup. And the video is going to be based on, on a few things. For example, I'm going to complete the Marquis matchup. You guys are going to watch me uh, uh, see the cards that I use for the Marquis matchup. Okay. And I'm going to use foot pin and give you guys an estimate of how much the Marquis matchup costs. Okay. We're going to open up the packs in the background. You guys are going to see me at force. You guys are first are going to see me completing the Marquis matchup in the video. Uh, while that's happening, um, at, at the end of the video, I'm going to open up one well, at the end of the video, but during the video, I'm going to open up all these packs. And I gotta put every, everything up for sale, okay? And as I put everything up for sale, at the end of the video, you guys are gonna see all the stuff that sold and if it was worth it or not. Now, during that time, since, um, you know, you guys are just basically watching me do the, the, the SBCs in the back, we'll talk about something during the week. For example, like this week, we'll talk about the patch. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about a few things that either we like or we didn't like. So. First of all, we'd like to know if people got, if you guys that actually are subscribed or you guys, people that watch this video, uh, that watch my channel, whatever, if you guys would be interested in some sort of like uh, series where we do every Tuesday or Wednesday. And, you know, like I said, like I, I basically show you guys the SBC Marquis matchup in the background. At the same time, at the end of the video, I'll let you guys know if it was worth it or not worth doing it. I'll give you guys the estimate of how much it costs to make by using Footbin. For example, this one year costs around 35K to make to complete this SBC, uh, that's all four SBCs to get all five packs. And during the video, while you guys are watching that in the background, you, you guys are probably seeing me move my hands a lot. You guys, yeah, the Italians when they talk, they they move their hands. <laughs> Anyways, so what's happened is that uh, during that, you guys are basically gonna see me open the packs and all that stuff. I know I'm repeating myself again, and we're gonna talk about what we thought about the weekend, what I thought about the weekend league, and you guys can leave comments and say what you guys thought about the weekend league and and stuff like that. You know. It, whatever if you guys like if you guys like the idea let me know in the comments uh, I'm, I'm up for anything and at this point I just basically um, want to take a little bit of a break from just the gameplay and the um, the weekend league because I'm not enjoying it so at the same time let me tell you what I think about the weekend league and 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 so far uh, uh, how the first weekend went well one one thing we noticed in the weekend league was that a lot of people were complaining about the gameplay being slow and I completely agree with everybody uh, that the gameplay felt completely slow and that maybe uh, certain formations that uh, were very, very strong uh, early patch are probably not as strong as they used to be um, since the new patch. For example, I like to use the 4 one, two, one, two, uh, narrow and it seems like I may have to like change my formation because it doesn't seem like the the gameplay is fast anymore and it was very frustrating playing uh, this weekend league um, because I couldn't ping pong my passes because I like to play the game quickly and basically with the new patch for the people that like to play a fast paced game with a lot of tic tac happening around with the passes you probably can't do it anymore because the game just feels completely different now a lot of people uh, I'm not gonna agree with the game uh, with the gameplay how it feels. Me personally, I do not like the gameplay. I actually ended up finishing with eight wins. I think I played 14 games, so I was like eight and six or something like that. And I just decided to stop playing. The reason why I decided to stop playing also is because I didn't want to reach 11 wins. Because I know when you reach 11 wins, you basically requalify for next weekend. And I wanted to give myself a reason not to play next weekend. <laughs> so I said, you know what? I'm just gonna stop playing here. I'm not enjoying the gameplay uh, either because it's my my bad because of the formation I'm using or whatever it is I just did not enjoy it so what I will do is that I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go test out some formations to see what type of formations now the one I have in mind is actually one not one, but basically one that was used a lot during the Barcelona event, and that's the 442. So what I'm gonna do this week is I'm gonna go play with the 442. I'm gonna build my team around the 442 with 
players that I have at most. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure exactly. I'm gonna show you guys basically my team afterwards, and I'm gonna basically show you guys a live gameplay of me playing with my team. Okay. And I'm gonna first. I'm gonna go figure it out a little bit. Maybe watch some other videos from other people. You know, try to see their custom tactics, what they're using. And I'm gonna see if I can learn some new formation because in this game here it seems like uh, there's a lot of switches that happen and you basically have to adapt to the switches. Even if you don't like it, you have to adapt to it and learn other stuff. So actually learning new formations, it's actually a good thing. Now using the 4-4-2 is a known formation to be overpowered and used by the pros. I am no pro, of course, but if the pros are using it, there's gotta be something correct, like something good about this formation. A lot of people talked about it, so I'm willing to learn it. And I'm gonna go check it out and see what I what I can you know basically learn from it and see if I could actually adapt and play with that formation. And once I learn and adapt from that new formation, I'm ready to go back to the new to the weekly league and try again. So what I'm gonna actually ask from you guys is that if you guys don't mind, maybe leaving a comment or something below the video and letting me know if there's a certain subject you guys want me to talk about. Uh, just to base it on my next video. So for, for example, if this does become like a, uh, a series where I make a video every week or every second week, whatever it is, um, I could be, I will be able to interact with you guys with, with certain questions you guys wanna ask me, for example, about the game. It doesn't really have to be based on the game. It could be based on anything. It doesn't really bother me at all. It's just basically to interact with, uh, with you guys so we could see, uh, you know, like we could have a conversation while we're doing the video at the same time. Uh, as you can see in the background, I'm not gonna make this video too long because I don't want you bore you guys too much. You you see me basically selling uh, the card. Uh, well, basically you guys see me uh, showing you guys the cards that I sold during the pack opening that I did for the Marquis ma matchup. And after everything, it looks like I'm gonna break even and maybe make a little bit. What I mean by a little bit, uh, when you saw the video when I was when I put up when I put my cards up for sale, I was like at forty-two thousand, I think, and now you guys are watching it, and I'm at seventy-three thousand. What well, I know it's one point eight million seventy-three, but I mean I was at one point eight forty-two, and now I'm at one point eight seventy-three. And you could see there's still some cards left for sale. So I mean, after looking at those cards, still I have like twenty cards, twenty-one cards left for sale. No, twenty cards left uh, that are still selling. Uh, basically, we'll probably make another 5k there. So I'd say to round it up, I would probably be at uh, 1.880. So the profit would be around 30. Well, profit it wouldn't be profit. I would be making around 38k. Um, so at the end, if the Marquis Mac chap cost you 35k, uh, we didn't get nothing great in these packs. We ended up breaking even, maybe making a couple thousands of profit, like maybe two, 3k profit. So it wasn't huge, but at least we didn't lose, right? So I would suggest people doing the Marquis matchup this week, considering the fact that I got uh, very bad luck in my pack. I would definitely tell you guys that today, uh, doing the Marquis matchup this week is definitely worth it because you most probably at least got to break even and maybe make who knows what, depending on your puck luck. So anyway, I wish you guys a good day and see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.